It's The Clash. And it's been confirmed in explosive fashion that all was not well between Harry, Meghan and their podcast paymasters Spotify with their £15 million three-year mega deal officially coming to an abrupt end. The streaming giant has decided against commissioning a second season of the Archetype series after receiving just 12 episodes of dreary interviews with a host of woke Sussex pals. But the real knockout blow came from Spotify executive Bill Simmons in a no-holds-barred podcast of his own. I'm going to pose this question to you. You you do a lot of business deals, a lot of negotiations. I do? Well, let, let's just... I pretend. wish I had been involved in the Megan and Harry leave Spotify negotiation. <laughs> the f***ing <laughs> grifters. That's the podcast we should have launched with them. We, um, I got to get drunk one night and tell the story of the Zoom I had with Harry to try to help him with a podcast idea. Do it. It's one of my best stories. Do it. So what do you think? Very simple question. Is Spotify's top exec right to describe Harry and Meghan as effing grifters? By the way, if you don't know what that means, it's an American term, which means that you're out to swindle someone, basically. It means you're a small scale swindler. Let me know your thoughts. Email me, dan at gbnews.com. Vote in our poll at GB News on Twitter. The results shortly but doing battle on this now. Socialite and royal expert Lady Victoria Harvey, and the journalist and broadcaster and defender of Harry and Meghan, Nina Mishkoff. So, Lady V, I mean, I found this utterly extraordinary because you've yeah. been in Hollywood a long time before you moved back here. Yeah. And yeah. Hollywood people don't talk like that. They might mm -hmm. backstab people behind the scenes. Yeah, but this sure. is the boss of Spotify, right, in terms of podcasts. He runs the commercialization right. of that business. For him to go out publicly and describe yeah. these two as effing grifters, that doesn't happen. This is no. huge. Their yeah. Hollywood dreams are crumbling, are they not? Yeah, no, I was actually quite shocked when I first heard it. I was like, wow, OK, he is savage. I mean, yeah. he is literally going for the jugular here. And uh, obviously it must have ended, at, you know, so badly. You know, I don't know how much they did get paid of the total amount, but, you know, they feel ripped off. I mean, Spotify, obviously, they were promised the world and... Come on, three they years. They did not deliver. Three years, fifteen million pounds, and, how many, and they deliver thirteen half-hour episodes. And it's how, pathetic. And did you see how many producers were actually on? Yeah, hundreds. Yeah. Quite. And now Netflix wants to pull out too. So this is disastrous. Well, we don't know. We don't I, know. I mean, we don't we know. That's what I've been told, Nina, and you know I have a sources know. on this. There's the Invictus yeah. Games. There's also they're going to be filming in Africa. You, you have no idea about the Netflix. But as, right. as well, I was saying, told by a saying, top Hollywood source tonight, right. uh, this was a conversation I had literally before we came to air. Quote me on this. I'll be proven right within a few weeks or a few months. Netflix wants to follow Spotify out the door and dump right. the well, substances. Why, would Netflix do why that? are they doing why, that? Why would Netflix, Netflix do that? Because, because yeah. their Netflix series, the Sussex's Netflix mm. series, it's very hard to say that, actually, mm. um, <laughs> it, it, it topped the charts for months, yeah. for months and months and months. So, so that they've delivered for Netflix and they are still delivering. In mm. terms of Spotify, that guy is just trying to make a name for himself. He's got money. Oh, name. He's, got got ridiculous. Ridiculous. He's, he's already just, got five million followers, know, he's one of the I most know, successful he's, he's executives just, at American he, Media. He's just, and actually, to use that language, that's not the language of a professional. That's, that's not an executive's language. It really isn't. And it, let me yeah. just say about, about their Spotify podcast, there are 12 episodes and the Christmas episode. Yeah. Having said that, that was the, their podcast. Megan was top Pod, People's Choice in People magazine, which is the top show oh, in the magazine. Well, who cares? People pay for that. Pe no, no you know pe I mean? you cannot pay you for People's it's... Choice. That's voted for by the I public. And also in the Gracie Awards, she was top Nina, entertainment Nina, podcast host. Dove dumped her because she was lazy. And no, you know what I found so interesting lazy, about the same Victoria? Lazy. What I, I found so interesting lazy. is, you know, when I used to speak to the courtiers all the time working within the royal family, right. they always used to describe Harry and Meghan as entitled, as too lazy to work right. hard. I don't and believe that for a moment. now I think that's it's one been that for a proven moment. by the they, commercial they, they sector. Just, is, just let Lady V respond, Nina. I think that is actually one of the reasons why, you know, she took Harry to America, because she didn't want to be 
that person, like the royal life and going to hospitals and visiting sick children and what opening hospitals. What about Grenfell? She, all the good work she, she did there. She wants the almost celebrity undercover. lifestyle. She almost the undercover. She did. The, Nina, she worked yeah. so Nina, hard Nina, with come those on, women come in Grenfell. Come on. Come on. If the they had done a good job and that worked hard for Spotify, yeah. Spotify wouldn't have just done them. Yeah. Do you not accept that your heroes, Harry and Meghan, are just allergic to hard work? They are not, that my, they are not, they are not think, my heroes. But, uh, they are not allergic to hard work. I, I, I don't think if you nothing. if you looked at what what Harry has achieved in his life and his hard work in the army, he is not. What's he achieved the past three no. years since moving he, to Los Angeles? He has well, achieved a lot. He's achieved. What? What's he, he achieved over the past three years? Uh, uh, what about his Invictus game? Still, he, no, 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 I'm not talking no, about that. Yeah. No. He did that when he was in the royal family. No, right. Nina, but Nina, he's still Nina. Doing, name me one achieved, thing that Harry has, has achieved in the past three years since moving to Hollywood. Life. So he's achieved nothing I, for the I, public. No, he's, he's, he's achieved achi nothing for the public, and that's why he's he said he was moving. He's achieved millions right. also for his, uh, from his book. He's, he's given a load of money from his book. So he's made money for himself? And he's made money from himself. Well, he has to have... No, well, you, you, you deny that he should be able to make his own money? No, but he has to make Nina, his own money. I'm Otherwise asking say you he's what I've done for public service over the past three he, years. He has worked very hard on I'm their charities. I'm glad you agree with me. There are about one thing. No, not one thing. I don't. Lula, the greenback I, no, lady okay. fee. He has That's to, what this is he, about, lady fee. No, it's not. What am I it's saying absolutely not. And like, I have to say... To OK, OK, okay Nina, just, just let lady fee respond. Um, so what do you want me to say on it? Well, haven't um, they proven they're well, all about what money? Has he, what has he done? I mean, look, he has, look, uh, although the book, well, you know, we... A lot of people didn't really like the book, but he obviously did make well, money from the book. That, right? You would disagree with um, millions of people around the world. The biggest him. selling non fiction book in okay. history. Just let Lady V make a yeah, point. But Nina. she has dragged him into the dirt. You know, people loved Prince Harry. Before. She hasn't dragged she him has. into the dirt. She has not. And, you know, he's Harry just followed has, her into he has it helped, willfully. She has helped him to extricate himself from a toxic situation in this country. Mm, and she I'm, is I'd like toxic. to go back to Spotify and the podcast because yes. the Obamas. Okay. Had had a contract. Yeah, and with, that was cancelled as well. Can, and they Michelle are Obama, very happy Michael with Obama, Audible. Sorry. And I bet you very soon <clears throat> that Harry and Meghan will be with Audible or whoever but else. Lady v, and right. this has exactly. damaged Harry and Meghan, though, no, because no, when you have a big no, company any, like Spotify any, describing any them as effing and grifters. Having an exec like this coming out and calling them a well, grifter. Obviously, is a like that, thing. Is a, that is a very negative thing that is going to probably have a very negative spin on things with also like her representation. It's you, astonishing to me that you can't just admit they're lazy. They're afraid of hard work. Yeah. They expected they, to go they, over they there and no. make tens of millions no. simply and by virtue of yeah. who they I, are. And you know what they, Hollywood is like? Lady V will tell you this. Yeah. Hollywood is about not, what you're doing now. People are expected on. to work. And, the, the, and she is, is about yeah. to sign but a big deal not, with Deal. But she's oh, not ready Oh, let's see. Deal have denied that tonight. And let me just make one final point. You know, they want to be like Oprah Winfrey. They want to be like Ellen DeGeneres in the big house in Montecito, Lady V. Right. Well, Oprah Winfrey and Ellen DeGeneres worked five days hard. a week right. on producing the most popular talk show in America. Yeah. In Hollywood, no, you I have agree. to graph yeah, no, in I order agree to with that. achieve and I, your I billions. Just, I, you know, just by seeing, by seeing like, uh, their day-to-day, -day, I don't know, you know, Existence. it just seems like they just expect everything and just not putting yeah. in the work. I don't think, I, okay. I completely yeah. disagree Okay, well, with look, that. you've got both sides of the argument there no. from Nina Mishkoff <laughs> and Lady Victoria Harvey. So who do you agree with? Are Harry and Meghan grifters? Uh, Munro writes, this is via Twitter. Oh, I'd say so. It's curious how the celebrity and business worlds are slowly turning their backs on these two. Surely that tells us something, doesn't it? Molan writes, I would say... That seems to be an accurate summary. They could, they should call them Harry Hustle and Megan the Manipulator, the perfect trickster duo. And from Raoul, uh, Megan was more interested in whining on about herself than engaging actively with her yeah. guests. And your verdict is now in. 90% of you agree with that top Spotify executive, Bill Simmons, describing Harry and Megan as effing grifters. Just 10% of you say they're not. Now, 